them to talking pints. Cheers, Nigel. I apologise that the ice machine has broken. And no lemon either. And it's not good. It's <laughs> not good. But I'm on the Thatcher's side because I don't want to be told by the Colston for what I can and can't drink. Now, before we talk about your life in politics and the big ups and downs that you had, it was sort of 48 hours ago that suddenly Sadiq Khan started talking in a, in a way about Cressida Dick that he never had mm. before. Were you surprised she resigned tonight or was it inevitable? Do you know, I was out for a run yesterday morning listening to the radio and hearing Sadiq Khan talking about her and I, I thought at the time it's very difficult for a Met Commissioner to operate if she has lost the confidence of the Mayor of London. And then today I think we heard... I mean, and previously we heard Pretty Patel, the Home Secretary, not having an awful lot of confidence in her. Mm. And I, so therefore, although it's a shock in some ways because she'd only today said she wasn't going to step down, I think if you lose the confidence like that, and she said publicly that she feels the mayor had lost confidence in mm. her, mm. then it's not that surprising that she feels that she has to go. I mean, it's a hard job, of course it is. But, but it just, you know, it's very interesting. You know, here we've got a Labour Mayor of London uh, and a Labour Mayor to the left of the centre of the Labour Party and a Conservative Home Secretary who is to the right of the centre of the Conservative Party. I mean, you know, you were Home Secretary. I mean, it's a devil of a job, isn't it, being Met Commissioner? It's a, it is enormously difficult. And as we've seen over recent weeks and months, things happen in the Met that have national ramifications. Yeah. You know, there have been... Lots of things that have happened that I think have been utterly unacceptable. Um, you know, just last week, the WhatsApp messages, you know, I think shocked lots of people in the sort of hideousness of what people were saying. Yeah. But to a certain extent, Nigel, I felt a bit triggered, I have to say, by this Triggered, today. as it were. <laughs> I knew you'd love oh, we're it. I knew you'd love it. Article 15. <laughs> <laughs> because um, when I was Home Secretary, of course, the Mayor of London was Boris Johnson. And um, yeah. we had a similar issue with Sir Ian Blair at that same time, where essentially, um, and Boris, you know, in a way that was slightly inappropriate for a mayor, as you could argue, it's been for Sadiq Khan, stepped in and said, look, I've lost confidence. And at that point, Sir Ian had to go. and We had to appoint mm. a new Met Commissioner. So um, it's a strange setup because essentially the, the Commissioner is appointed by the Home Secretary in consultation with the Mayor of London. If there is not confidence, probably from either of them, it's almost an impossible job to do. How was Boris?